Tell me about uh, mitochondria in the brain and why people who care about their cognitive performance should be paying attention to their mitochondria function. We like to think of mitochondria as these ancient bacteria that are the power plants in the body. We all learned that in seventh grade. That is not probably accurate. Two billion years ago, there was some kind of a cell. We're not sure what we think of some kind of a parasite. And we think that was us and we're floating in the ocean. And then we harness these ancient bacteria and embedded them inside of us so that they could be our power plants. Now, what the mitochondria are saying is, hey, we found these floating Petri dishes. We moved in and took over and we're still in charge. Because what mitochondria really do is they are factories and environmental sensors and power plants. So what they're doing is they're looking at the environment around you. That's that definition of biohacking. Uh, changing the environment around you. <laughs> That's because they're listening to that. And then based on what they think before you get a chance to have any input, they decide the allocation of energy, hormones, and neurotransmitters that they're going to make, as well as a bunch of other signaling peptides that they do. And then they make a decision, these quadrillion of them, about what kind of signals we want to roll up into the nervous system. And then that gets to the brain. And the brain starts, there's seven layers of filtering in the prefrontal cortex, and you get to see the final layer. All the stuff underneath that is hidden. And it's all powered by mitochondria. They run your willpower. They run everything you do. So if you do something that gives them more energy, the system works better. It's just that straightforward. And in the brain, the neurons have 15,000 mitochondria in the average neuron, which is a lot. Most of the cells in the body have a few hundred. So the heart and the brain have these incredibly powerful um, arrays of mitochondria. And if you make your mitochondria work better, you'll feel it first in your brain. And it turns out that every one of the major neurodegenerative diseases involves low mitochondrial function for one reason or another. Keep the mitochondria in the brain running, you're not going to get Alzheimer's disease. You're just not. <laughs> and it's pretty incredible. But all the things that they think might cause Alzheimer's disease have one thing in common. They make mitochondria weak. So the thesis for Headstrong is fix the mitochondria, fix the brain, reduce the odds of every brain disease. But more importantly, have a brain that actually works better this morning. Intermittent fasting is the fastest way to do that. It's also the cheapest way to do that. Tell me about some of your other favorite ways to, to increase mitochondria function, because I know you kind of figured out that a lot of maybe your products that you were already uh, working on or, or products that you then started developing, you realized that's kind of how in part they were really helping people is by improving mitochondrial function, right? Uh, just about everything that I do at one level or another is going to help mitochondrial function, even meditation, breath work, cold showers, um, my company, uh, True Dark, that makes light therapy devices uh, and makes glasses that are patented for, um, for improving sleep. All of those have a direct impact on mitochondria. The end of you sleep better, better mitochondria. Eat better with less toxins, better mitochondria. But things that really stand out are the C8 MCT oil, that I make for Bulletproof, it, it turns on ketones as soon as you take it. And ketones make mitochondria work better just because they make more energy when they go through it. And that's a big thing. And there's a whole variety of supplements I talk about, even really basic ones like magnesium that helps mitochondria. It does a bunch of other stuff too. Things like coenzyme Q10. Um, there's a supplement I make called Unfair Advantage that contains PQQ that, that is a really cool mitochondrial energizer. Keto Prime is one of my very favorite Bulletproof products. Um, it's one of the uh, parts of the Krebs cycle that primes the pump for the mitochondria to go through another round of the Krebs cycle. And man, you take that, it, it's pretty amazing how different your brain feels. So these are all things that work via that same path. Of like, how do I get better at making air and food and energy? And it's a, it's a complex, amazing system. Uh, and we know a lot about it now, more than we ever have. We're saying, hmm, what can you do? Why would a cold shower matter? Because after three days of suffering in cold showers where you won't even be able to do a minute because it sucks, the mitochondria realize, oh, we live in an environment where we might have to be able to turn on a lot of heat very quickly. In other words, we have to get rid of our weak mitochondria and grow new ones. It takes longer than three days to do that. But in three days, they shift the ratio of cardiolipin in your mitochondrial membrane to cause the mitochondria to work better. And then all of a sudden, the fourth day, the cold shower feels good, even though it felt like crap the previous three days. So, hmm, it, it's all tied together. But end of the day, they're calling the shots. 
anytime you're not thinking about something, they're running an automatic meat operating system to keep your Petri dish alive.